and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new die sets, Woodland Critter Huggers, and also our new Stitch Gift Card Pocket. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here is a look at all of the dies in this set. And yes, there's a lot of dies. And that's because this set can make six different types of critter huggers. So you'll see there's a lot of pieces. Our main one is the main body piece here. Then we have different styles of tails and then little kind of decorations for each of the tails. We also have a cute little flower and a heart just for decoration too. Then we've got the little feet here. We also have two different styles of faces and two different styles of eyes. That little round piece there is the belly. And then we have some more ways to kind of dress up your critter huggers. So we've got the little ear pieces, little blush rosy cheeks, and noses and little smiles that you can mix and match. So we have this picture on our site. So you can print this out and have this so it kind of describes what all of the little pieces are. So if you're ever going, what was that one again? This could kind of help with that. We also have on the website a way to see all of these little critters here. So you can see that you can see what you can create in different ways to mix and match. And really this is just the beginning because I'm sure that you guys are gonna come up with some really awesome ways to mix and match all of these pieces. So first up, we're gonna add our eyes to the faces. And there's two ways to do that. The first way we're gonna look at is actually just die cutting them out. So I'm gonna take that die and I'm actually gonna die cut it from the back because I don't want any of that extra metal to leave an impression on the front of my little face piece. So I'm gonna hold that in place with some low tack tape and I'll do the other style of eyes too. I'm gonna to run that through my die cut machine and pop it off and you'll see that it's die cut those cute little eyes on there. I just love those little eyelash eyes, they're adorable. And then here you can see the other style which is just kind of a plain eye. Now the other way to add the eyes on is to actually just die cut that little eye piece out of black cardstock and then add a little glue to those pieces and glue the pieces on top. And either way looks really great. So you'll see this way I'm gluing the pieces on top and then the other way I die cut them out. Obviously you can mix and match these eyes so you can do either style of eye on either style of face. So there's a lot of mix and match opportunities. And here you'll see I'm gonna do the plain eye and just glue those right on top. And I think they just look awesome. Now there's a little piece here that's um, technically meant to be kind of this little smirk smile that I'll show you guys how to do later, but they're really cute eyes too. So I'm gonna layer those on top as well. And it's just three different styles of eyes, which means you can really have fun with these. Now to color in the little die cut ones, I'm just trimming down some tiny little pieces of cardstock and gluing them behind the face and that's gonna add some color. So in this case I did black eyes on the cream pieces and then white eyes on the black pieces. And you'll see it's a really nice bold look when you turn them over. So either way, it's just kind of personal preference. You can see here that they both look really great, either glued on or die cut. Now it's time to make our first critter. So the first one we're gonna make is the fox here. And I've cut that from the new canned pumpkin cardstock, the new vanilla malt cardstock for the cream pieces. And you'll see that I'm layered the belly and then I'm gonna layer the little feet on him. And then this is really just a process of layering everything until you get the look that you want. So in this case, I decided to do the eyes that have the little eyelashes and the nose and mouth that are connected, but I can mix and match these any way that I would like. I'm gonna add some cute little rosy cheeks and then put my little ear detail in there too. And that pink is the ballet slippers pink cardstock. I'm gonna add the little tail topper there for the foxtail, which to me, I just love the little foxtails. I think they're so cute. And then I'm gonna layer my little flower here and that's gonna be a decoration in the fox's hair, which I think is a really sweet look. So I'll layer those little leaves on there and that's out of some cilantro cardstock and layer that on top. And I like that the pink center of the flower kind of coordinates with the blush and the ears. And then I'm just gonna glue the tail to the back and I already have my adorable little fox. The next step is to fold along these score lines that the die created for us and make his arms hug. And then from there, you could add some candy or a little note. We're gonna be doing some fun ideas with that later. So next up, we're making a deer, my favorite critter, of course. And so here you'll see I have some pieces cut from the new chocolate bar, ground coffee, paper bag, vanilla malt, and ballet slippers. And so I'm gonna layer all of those pieces and do a different style of face. So I'm gonna use that little round piece that we used as an eye earlier. I'm gonna put that off to the side and then layer my nose on top. And that's gonna give this little deer almost like a little smirk. I think it's a really cute smile. Now I'm gonna layer my little white piece here for that white detail that deer have on their tail 
tail and then I'll layer that right behind. I think it looks so cute with that little short tail. And then of course I'll add those antlers on top and then I'll fold along the score line that the die created for me so that he's ready to hug something. It's just so cute. Now we have our raccoon, which is cut from storm cloud, narwhal, and black licorice cardstock. And here you'll see I'm going to layer his tail. Now you have to be a little careful with his tail because the triangle can go in two directions. And that way I realized, oh gosh, I had it upside down. So I just had to turn it over and then you'll see that it lines up perfectly with the top of the tail. And same thing with this little piece. I kind of made sure it was lined up and then checked on the back to make sure I had it in the perfect place. And then now he has his cute little raccoon tail all ready to go. Now with the tail, you can do two different orientations, like the one we did for the fox, or you can tuck it behind so that the tail looks like that, which I think is really cute for the raccoon. So you can get two different looks with this tail depending on how you glue it onto the back of the little raccoon or whatever critter that you're making. And so here you can see the comparison in tails from the raccoon to the fox. Now next up, we have a little squirrel that we're gonna make. And so this time I'm gonna layer all of my pieces here. You can see I've got that cute kind of different style of eye that we created. And I'm gonna layer that little tail on there. And he is just adorable. And he is cut from chocolate bar and paper bag cardstock. And then I'm gonna fold along those little lines and he's just looking so sweet. Now here we have a chipmunk. And so this one is from Ground Coffee chocolate bar and black licorice and vanilla malt. And so we're layering all of our pieces. And this time I'm going to add that nose on there, which would look really cute plain, but I wanted to give him a smile. So you know that little piece that we made eyes with and then a smirk with? Well, you can add that on as a smile. And I think that is such a cute look. Now for the tail, I'm gonna layer a piece of black licorice cardstock right on there, kind of like how we did the tail for the deer, but just in a little bit of a or different orientation, kind of having it up on the side instead of in the middle. And then I'm gonna layer that behind him there for his tail, and then I can fold along those score lines. Now, last but not least, we have our owl. And so here you can see what we've done different is we've got little yellow feet so that they're more like little claws. And then we also have a little yellow nose. Uh, th that yellow there is sticky note and the gray is narwhal and then vanilla malt again. And I'm gonna add a little flower on this guy too because I just think it's a really, really sweet look. And then I'll fold along those score lines. And then here is a look at all six of these guys. You can see that you can make six different critters, but each critter could look completely different because you could switch out the eyes and the smile and the blush or no blush, the heart, the flower. So you can really mix and match everything. And I have a feeling there's a bunch of other critters that we could create with these too. And so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So now it's time to add some treats to these guys. So in this case, I am going to add a little chocolate. These Dove chocolates are a perfect fit. And so I put a little glue dot on the back of it and I'm gonna kind of use the arms to guide me as to where I should glue it on. And then I only have these really big glue dots so I ripped it in half and I'm going to add it to each little paw here. And so he's gonna hug the chocolate and you can see how this would be a really cute little gift and a really cute Valentine, especially for kids classrooms. So you can see just how sweet that little fox looks holding that chocolate. Chocolate. Now you can use other types of candies too. So I had these little strawberry candies, but I, the little top was a little too long, so I just trimmed it right off. So if you have candy that has those tops, just trim it off if it's too big, and then you can layer that in there too. So it be, could be fun to play with different types of candies and see what might work best. And once again, I'm going to be using a glue dot there to hold it in place. I think little peppermints or candy canes could be really cute at Christmas time. Now these guys can be really great for homemade treats too. So here I have a little cookie and I've wrapped it in some cellophane and I'm gonna add that on with some glue dots. Now the cute thing about putting kind of a big thing here is when the, the guy little goes to hug it, he almost looks like he's hugging something too big, which I think is a really cute look. But in this case, I wanted to cover up the gap between the two arms. So I'm gonna make this a little Valentine. And so I've cut a lacy heart and a little stitched heart and I'm gonna stamp it with a Be Mine from the Conversation Hearts add-on stamp set so that it looks like a little conversation heart. And I'm gonna layer those two together and then glue that on top of the arms. And so that's gonna kind of cover up that gap and make it look like he's holding the entire thing. I think it's a really, really cute look too. And then here is a comparison between all three of them so you can see them with different types of treats and candy. So you can see that so many things could look really cute. 
Now for this little raccoon, I just wanted to make him plain. So I'm just gonna have him hold a little die cut, which I think is a really cute look and it's really nice and simple. So I'm gonna add that little heart in and then add some adhesive there to his other arm. And so nice and easy and he looks super cute like that. So you don't necessarily have to put treats, you could put some die cuts and have some fun with that too. Now these Critter Huggers were sized perfectly to work with the new Sweet Friend stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp this little happy heart day there, but you could do happy birthday or something. Stamp that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue his arms down first. So I'm gonna have him kind of hug without anything in it. And then over that, I'm gonna add my cute little frozen yogurt that I stamped out and colored. So I love the idea of adding stamped images to these. In this case, I used the Sweet, the sweet Friend stamp set, but you could use any stamp set, so you could come up with some pretty cute stuff. He's just adorable holding that frozen yogurt. I just love it. Now the next idea came from Elise and it is so cool because you can use these guys to have a secret hidden message. So here I'm going to stamp you are dear to me and I'm going to die cut it out with a banner die. Then once I've got that all cut, I'm going to line it up over my little deer here. And I'm gonna take a pencil and mark where the score lines are that are already on the deer. And so I'm gonna mark those onto the banner. Now that I have my tick marks, I'm gonna take those tick marks and line them up in my little scoring board here and score along both of those little marks and then just erase them so no one will ever know they're there. And then I'll go ahead and fold along those marks. Because we use the deer to guide us, when you go to line this in, it's gonna line up perfectly with his arms. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add adhesive all along the back of the entire banner. And then I can go ahead and line that up inside of my deer. And you can see how he's gonna be hiding the message. Now to cover up that there's even a banner in there, I'm gonna take a little a die cut heart that I have and I'm gonna use the push here stamp set and I'm gonna stamp open me on that so that the recipient's gonna know what to do. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have these little tiny clear Velcro pieces. And you can find these at your office supply store or on Amazon, but just any kind of little tiny Velcro, you could even cut down a bigger piece of Velcro. And I'm gonna add that to his paws. So I'm gonna add the Velcro piece there, put the fuzzy one on it, and then close the other hand to meet it so that the other hand kind of picks it up in the perfect place. And then I'm gonna trim off any excess just so that nobody sees that. I'm gonna trim off some excess on the arm and a little bit on the other one too that was kind of sticking out from underneath the heart. Now I'm gonna add some nice strong tape to the left arm and then I can add my heart on top. And so you'll see that heart's gonna cover up that there's something inside. So then when the recipient gets it, they're gonna see the open me and they're gonna be able to open it. It's Velcro so they can open and close as many times as they want and there's that hidden message inside. And so you could stamp anything in there, happy birthday or thank you, or you could even handwrite a message. And I just think it's so adorable. It just makes me smile. So there you go. I love seeing that hidden message and then getting to close it and reclose it with that Velcro. Now next up, we have our stitched gift card pocket. And so just like it says, it's a gift card pocket. It holds a gift card and you can see it comes with the pocket and also a little stitched heart that you can die cut and the word hugs too. Now the die creates three score lines for you. So you're gonna fold along those lines there and that's what's going to create the pocket. So I'm folding along those lines carefully and then I'm gonna use my bone folder to make sure they're a nice sharp crease because that's gonna make it easier to adhere on. After that, I'm gonna take some nice strong tape, some score tape, and put that along all of the tabs, and then I can line that up on my little card here. So you could add this to the inside of a card, even on the front of a card. You can do all sorts of cool things with it, but the really cool thing is it's actually sized for the Critter Hugger, so you're gonna see that in a second. So there you can see you can just pop a gift card in, and then it'll come right back out. So now I wanted to decorate my little fox. So I've cut it out of canned pumpkin cardstock like I did before, and I'm gonna die cut that little stitched heart on there because I just think it's a really cute look. I'm gonna fold along those three score lines again, and then also use my bone folder to make sure that they're scored really, really well. 
Then I can go ahead and add some nice strong tape to all of those little pieces and layer it on the back of my critter hugger. So you can see how it's just done perfectly for him. And then now I can put a gift card on the back. So it's a really cool way to present a gift card to someone and make it a little more special. So I'm gonna pop that gift card in and you'll see it's gonna hide right behind there so it's not gonna stick out in the front. So you'll see how cute he is there. And then when you turn them around, you have the surprise of the gift card in the back. Although this pocket is sized for gift cards, it's also a really great place to put a note in this too. So your little critter hugger could actually just be holding a note or maybe a secret note on a scrapbook layout or on a card for someone on the inside. So I'm gonna layer another one of these pockets there on the back of my owl that I've cut out and also in narwhal cardstock so that everything coordinates. And then I'm gonna die cut a little dotted rectangle and also a fancy scalloped rectangle. And so I'm gonna layer these and so this idea comes from Audrey. I love that she created this little kind of fancy scallop piece and so I'm going to make this a valentine. So I've die cut this be mine which comes from our stitched heart envelope and so I'm just going to cut them apart so that I can layer them on this tiny little card and I'll just glue that on there with the little heart for the dot but you could do hello or thank you and then you can put that inside there and write your message. The other thing you could do would be to not put any die cuts and just have that as a card for your message so that that way your critter hugger could actually be a card in and of itself. Now speaking of making the Critter Hugger a card, that's what we're gonna do next. So here I've got a card base and it's gonna be two and a quarter by three and three quarter inches. So there I'm gonna score at that three and three quarter inches add some adhesive to that tiny little card base, and then I can layer that behind, and that size is gonna be perfect for putting behind the Critter Hugger, and now it's actually a standing card in and of itself. So you can see here that you could write your message on the inside, and then he's also gonna stand up just like a card, which is just adorable, it just makes me smile, and I think it would be a really fun way to surprise someone with a sweet message. So here is a look back at all of these fun critters that we created today and all of the cool things that you can do with them. So you can see here we've done different types of candy. We've also done a little cookie with a little kind of heart covering up the arms, which is really cute. We've used stamped images so they can hold stamped images and die cuts, which is really sweet. And then here they can even hold hidden messages. And what I love about all of this is no matter how you decorate these guys, you can use them for any occasion. So that die cut heart could be a candy cane or a Christmas tree or a balloon for a birthday so you could get really creative. And then we have the Stitch gift card pocket which is a great way to make these into gift card holders. So you can see we can put a little gift card on there but you could also put notes in there too. So I love the idea of a little secret note here. So I've added some die cuts and I could write my message in there and then pop that right back in to my cute little pocket. And then last but not least, we can create an actual card that's a cute little raccoon shaped card, which is just awesome. Now next up, we have some amazing cards by the design team and Nicole blew me away turning these guys into little reindeer for Christmas. So you can see how they can hold different types of die cuts and you can make these work for all year round. Now Shari cut hers from felt and actually stitched it to create a cute little kind of stuffed animal which I think is so sweet and I love that he's holding that little stitched heart too and the button eyes, oh my gosh, just so adorable. Now Nicole got really creative too and added him on top of our goodie bag die. So now this cute little deer has become a goodie bag too. Here you can see this cute little Christmas version by Elena and her shading and inking on these is just stunning. And then here's Elise's that kind of inspired this cute little hidden message here. You can see now it's gonna open up and you'll have that great surprise of you are dear to me on the inside. Here Letitia added one of those nugget candies and that's a perfect size for these guys too, which I think is just so cute. And then here Audrey, I love the little Valentine that she added on the inside with the matching fox stamp, it's so sweet. I love Lizzie's idea. She took these die cuts, cut them down, and added them onto a card, which is a really cool look. And then I love this little guy by Lynette. I love that he's holding the little conversation heart. 
And then here, this is So Sweet by Melissa. I love how the heart is kind of off to the side, just adorable, and the little felt on there is just awesome. And then Yainea has hers holding little heart-shaped cookies, which are just so sweet. I just love them so much. And in the inside, she's got a sweet little Valentine, which is another great way to use that stitched gift card pocket. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this. It's gonna be so awesome, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.